I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I have specialized in internal medicine about 20 years back. I practice uh, internal medicine among other specialties, uh, mainly diabetes, cardiology, nephrology, neurology, and various other infectious diseases. I am practicing in Stanford Hospital in Ticonderahalli, Bangalore. Anti-tuberculous medications uh, over a period of time can cause side effects and that is very essential that when we give anti-tuberculous medications we give instruction to the patient how and when to follow up on a regular basis. A person can be called uh, after two weeks or one month or six weeks depending upon the condition of the patient taking the anti-tuberculous medications. So a lot of factors a lot of basic understanding of the patient goes into the treatment of anti-tuberculous medications and already uh, expectation is set by the doctor with the patient and the patient's relatives and also the doctor sets the expectation that if in case there is any risk it has to be highlighted much earlier and the patient has to visit the doctor. So these side effects can be anything between uh, rashes, or liver toxicity, that means hepatitis, which is caused by the drug, so drug-induced hepatitis. It can affect nerves, it can affect blood uh, composition like hemoglobin. It can cause some B complex deficiencies. So ideally, when we give anti treatment, we always preempt some risks. Considering that there may be some side effects, we always try to give B complex or a B6 supplements. We also look at the liver condition before giving the patient this. We also look at the chest condition or the lung conditions. We also look at the protein condition of the body when we talk about liver. So these things are done so that we always preempt the side effects. But no, no matter what you do, sometimes it does happen in a month or two, the patient starts showing side effects, depending upon what I mentioned. And the follow-up tells us and the follow-up investigations gives us the clue that the side effects are because of these therapies. So it is not a problem because once you diagnose it much earlier, the side effects, then we can actually look back and see how we can titrate these medicines better. So antitubiculous medications are not one, they are always a polytherapy. There are always two, three or four medications as a combination given to the patient and which is also distributed and managed over a period of time. So when the patient comes back, uh, some research papers say that you may decide to stop one drug or you may try to reduce the dose or you may try to stop and restart the drug depending upon the side effect of these medicines.